Hey guys, it's Rita Gomery and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again guys. Yes, and first time natin gagamitin yung studio. Hindi ko alam kung medyo nage-echo or whatsoever, pero hindi pa naman siya tapos. But I'm really excited guys for our studio tour coming very soon. But for now, pag-usapan muna natin yung gida sa video natin. It's the Huawei Matebook D15 inch. This is actually guys my third time na mag unboxing at mag review ng laptop sa channel ko. Yes, bilang na bilang ko dahil puro smartphones yung nire-review ko. Kaya excited ako guys kasi first time ko mag review ng Huawei laptop. So meron tayong apat na pag-uusapan guys na magfo-focus talaga tayo. Actually, ito yung laptop na sa harapan ko. Yes, na-unbox ko na siya pero papakita ko pa rin sa inyo kung ano yung laman ng box. Siyempre, unang-una yung kanyang design and display. Unang-una na natin pag-uusapan yan. Pangalawa, ang Huawei Share. Yes, Huawei Ecosystem. Guys, I will be explaining how the Huawei Share... <laughs> I will be explaining to you guys how the Huawei Share works. Napakaganda at napakabilis. Actually, ang dami mong pwedeng magawa sa Huawei Share. I am not sugarcoating this, pero bilib na bilib ako, guys. Daig niya talaga, guys, ang airdrop ng Apple. So, i-explain ko yan sa inyo later. So, no, yung kanyang fingerprint power button at yung kanyang recessed camera. Napaka-cool ng camera nito, guys. Let me quickly show you guys yung box ng ating Huawei Matebook D15 inch. Dito siya nakalagay. Manipes lang siya. And nandito yung kanyang specifications. Dito, guys, nakalagay yung kanyang charger. Actually, it's white. Ang ganda niya tingnan kasi napakalinis. And I like it, guys, kasi hindi siya yung usual power brick ng mga usual laptops na mabigat, bulky. Ito, saktong-sakto lang yung size niya. At mag-aang lang. And we also have a USB-C to USB-C cable. We can also use this sa mga Huawei smartphones natin. Like sa Huawei Mate 30 Pro ko, pwede ko itong gamitin. So out of the box guys, ganito yung itsura niya. Meron siyang nakalagay na plastic dito. And may naka-point kasi nga nagdun yung ating camera. Let's talk about it later. So again guys, ito yung space gray na tinatawag. Pero mukha siyang purple para sa akin. And isa sa pinaka-favorite ko about sa laptop na to, it matches my Huawei Mate 30 Pro, ba? Bagay na bagay sila. Talagang, alam niyo yun, Huawei ecosystem na turn up yung smartphone ko sa laptop ko. Meron pa siyang isang color na mystic silver. Kung gusto niyo naman na hindi masyadong loud yung color, pwede niyong piliin yon. On the left side of the laptop, guys, meron tayong USB-C port that handles power delivery up to 65 watts. Tabi nun, guys, meron tayong USB-A 3.0 port. And, yes, good news, meron tayong HDMI. Sa right part naman ng laptop guys, meron tayong dalawang USB A 3.0 port, 3.5 mm audio port. And of course, simpleng simple lang pero para sa akin, ang elegant niyang tignan, the Huawei logo sa pinaka harap. And then sa ilalim of course, meron tayong fan. And ang kinagusto ko guys, meron siyang rubber sa ilalim para syempre hindi dumalas yung laptop sa table. And then meron enough space between your table and the laptop para makahinga at hindi mag-overheat yung laptop. Unang-una kong nagustuhan guys yung kanyang display, yung screen niya, very aesthetically pleasing and full view kong full view. Sabi ko nga kanina, wala siyang camera, it's hidden under the keyboard, and to be specific, meron siyang 87% screen to body ratio. So, tinanggal ni Huawei guys yung webcam sa pinaka bezel niya at nilipat niya doon sa may keyboard, specifically between F6 and F7. So, ipupush niya lang yan guys para lumabas yung pinaka webcam. And then kapag tapos niya ng gamitin, all you have to do is push it down. Unang-una, syempre kaya siya nandun sa keyboard para mabawasan nga yung kanyang side bezels. Kaya, Mataas yung ating screen to battery ratio. Pangalawa, of course, for privacy issues. May mga times, guys, na tinatakpan natin yung pinaka-webcam natin sa laptop. And with this one, hindi na kasi nakatago naman na siya kapag hindi natin ginagamit. Additional info, guys, ang Huawei Matebook D15, meron siyang 1080 pixels full HD IPS screen resolution. Actually, guys, I already used the laptop nung nanonood ako ng Netflix and the experience is actually very impressive. Natutuwa ako. Malaki yung kanyang display. Very slim lang yung bezels niya. And feeling ko, perfect na perfect yung 15-inch laptop in terms of watching YouTube videos, Netflix, and even for creative works. Sa mga nagtataka naman kung mag-aang ba siya or mabigat, 
The weight guys is just enough for a laptop na kayang-kaya naman siyang dalhin sa backpack at dalhin sa school, sa office, sa coffee shop. And to be specific guys, it weighs 1.53 kilograms and 16.9 mm thickness yung meron itong laptop na to. So hindi siya bulky guys. So kasha-kasha siya sa mga backpack nyo for as long as kasha ang 15-inch laptop. Okay, it's time to talk about the Huawei Share. So, paano nga ba nag-work ang Huawei Share? Kailangan pa necessarily naka Huawei Mate 30 Pro ka may Mary. Hindi naman guys, kahit naka Huawei Nova 5T ka, pwedeng pwede. Sa isang simpleng tap lang guys, your Huawei smartphone and your Huawei Mate Book will transform into one. And take note guys, kahit walang internet, pwede tong mag-work. So basically guys, yung phone screen nyo mag appear siya sa laptop which will allow you to drag and drop files between them. It's actually guys, a really cool cross-device collaboration na pinapadali yung life and work natin. So guys, kahit na anong Huawei phone, pwede siyang i-connect dito sa laptop na to. But disclaimer lang, it must be on EMUI 9. So first thing you must do guys is i-open nyo yung NFC and yung Bluetooth nyo sa inyong Huawei device. And then ipatong nyo guys yung inyong Huawei smartphone kung saan nakalagay yung Huawei Share sticker. And then may lalabas na notification, all you have to do is i-tap nyo yung connect. And just like that guys, you are connected already. And then after that guys, pwede nyo nang alisin yung Huawei smartphone nyo kasi automatically nakakonect na siya. You can also bring your Huawei smartphone sa baba kasi it will still stay connected. For example guys, you want to take a photo, automatically mag appear din siya doon sa mismong laptop. Kunyari gusto kong mag-selfie and I want to get the photo from my phone. All I have to do is click nyo of course yung photo. And just drag it sa inyong mismong desktop, automatically mapupunta na sa laptop nyo yung file. And ito pa sa mga gamer dyan who wants bigger screen, gusto nyo kunwari maglaro sa inyong Huawei smartphone, kunwari PUBG or Asphalt 9, halimbawa maglalaro tayo dito sa smartphone. So ang mangyari guys, kunwari Asphalt 9, naglalaro ako, pinaka-controller ko is yung pinaka-Huawei smartphone ko and then nakatingin ako sa laptop ko para mas malaki yung display. So very seamless yung connection, nothing to worry about. Additional security guys, meron tayong fingerprint power button. So every time na i-open natin yung device, we can use our finger Hindi na natin kailangan mag-type ng password. Ilalagay lang natin yung kamay natin. Next guys, another thing na gusto kong pag-usapan about this laptop na na-impress din ako. First time kasi guys na nagkaroon ng ganitong CPU ang isang Huawei laptop. Kaya sobrang natuwa ako doon. Although hindi naman ito bago compared to other laptops but to Huawei laptops bago to. The Huawei MateBook D15 inch meron siyang Ryzen 5 3500U processor with 8GB of RAM. And then, in terms of battery life naman, guys, at kung i-apply natin siya in real-life scenario, the Huawei MateBook D15 inch, kaya niya, guys, up to 8.5 hours in terms of office work, up to 7 hours in terms of 1080p local video playback, and up to 8 hours for web browsing. And meron lang din akong quickly na gusto nga explain itong Huawei MateBook D15 inch. Meron siyang tatlong 2-in-1 Scenario. So, ano na yun? Unang-una, the fingerprint power button 2-in-1, mobile phone PC 2-in-1, and lastly, charger 2-in-1. Yung charger 2-in-1, guys, to quickly explain to you, yung kanyang pinaka-power brick and USB connector, pwede rin na siyang gamitin sa smartphone. Other things na nagustuhan ko, guys, yung keyboard niya, I like it kasi may backlit siya, unang-una. Of course, importante yan, especially sa mga... Alam nyo na, minsan nag-work tayo madilim, so kailangan may ilaw yung keyboard natin. Pangalaw guys, it reminds me of the keyboard na meron yung MacBook Pro. Very clicky, madali lang siyang gamitin. And then for the trackpad guys, it's not too overwhelming na sobrang laki. And hindi naman siya yung super liit, unlike other laptops na nakita ko na. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Mary, magkano yung Huawei MateBook D15 inch? Guys, hindi siya actually ganun kamahal. 
very pangmasa yung price, especially if you are a student or kailangan mo ng laptop sa office. Very ideal itong laptop na to, especially if gusto nyo i-start yung inyong Huawei ecosystem dahil napaka-impressive nung kanyang Huawei share. Retails for 37,990 pesos. I'll be putting more details down below sa description box kung gusto nyo malaman kung ano yung mga freebies niya, kung saan siya available, kung kailan siya available. I'll be doing another video regarding this laptop, guys, kung paano ko siya ina-apply on my day-to-day -day life, kung kaya ko bang mag-edit dito, thumbnails, videos, kung paano ko siya dinadala, and all that. I am very in love with my laptop kasi turn na siya dito sa aking Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So, ayun lang, guys. That is it for now. It's your tag, Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!